So guys, this is typically how it goes, and um, I've spoke about this before on my channel, and this is usually the way it goes. And what we're going to do is break this down and try to find the fine line in between. So something good can come out of it, but the way it usually goes is she don't want you when you're young. It doesn't happen every time, but when we generalize the world, it's typically how it goes. She don't want you when you're young. But then time changes. Now you don't want her when she's old. Unless you got together at a young age and found that fine line. Because the worst thing you can do as a woman is have your value at its highest and mess up those years by doing nothing. Like you did not do what you were supposed to do. And you see, it's kind of how it goes. She don't want you when you're young. You don't want her when she's old because her value is very high, higher than yours at the time. But then the tables turn real quick. She knows the clock is ticking. She knows deep down to her core. You're not going to want her when she's older. Like you did when she was young. All women know this bro deep down inside. Some of them just want to play stupid and pretend and act like it's not that way or carry on with themselves, act in some kind of way as if they're so still attractive and all this kind of stuff, but uh, unfortunately that's not how the world works. We, we, we can't sit here and say, oh, look at these young guys, look at these young males that don't have a pot to piss in. They don't know what they're doing in life, but hey, they're top tier guys, look at them. It's not how the world works. Your value is your value. And that's how it goes. Why beat around the bush? Why lie to yourself? Why lie to others? But this is what I'm saying, bro. So, and for you ladies, I know a lot of guys right now who it's like, they're young. They're like late teens, early 20s young right now and they're telling me things like bruh whenever i'm whenever i become successful i'm not giving these hoes a chance i ain't doing this i ain't doing that i ain't giving them a chance and uh that goes to show that the ladies around their age are messing up right they're messing up so when they get older and these girls around their age finally want them and have a sense of urgency finally to want them, they ain't gonna want you. So yes, you do have to find that fine line. The smartest thing any, any, any woman can do at a young age is to get the best guy you can possibly get. It doesn't have to be your age, you can be quite a bit older. And the smartest thing any, any man on earth can do is wait till his value is really high. If you're lucky, you can get it high at a young age. But you want to aim to get your value as high as possible, as young as possible. That is what you want to do as a male. And, you know, when you get it to where you want it to be, and then some, you will understand it's a very different world. A very different world. And, uh, you're not going to be so quick to pick. Do whatever you want. 
just like some young bimbo hot chick. She can do whatever she wants. It's cool when she does it, right? It's cool when she does it. Everybody clap. You go, girl. You get that guy. But when you do it, bro, your value is sky high. And that same young, attractive bimbo is now becoming more un unattractive because she's getting older. Now you be the one that gets shamed. You'll be the one that's demonized for just wanting your worth from the opposite gender. You're not looking to pick up any used items. You're getting a fresh pear off the pear tree. Fresh, ripe, ready to go. So, when you do it, it's a problem. When they do it, it's all right, right? When you do it, it's a problem. But this is a world, bro. And this is an eye-opening video for every man and woman watching on what you should do and what you should not do. I genuinely felt like my value is pretty high all throughout my life. But there's different levels, of course. There's different levels. And, um... The littlest shit happened with me. And it caused me, you know what? When I see ungratefulness from people, when I see greed, when I see things that I see, there's no going back. I, can I, I now cannot reward you. I just won't. I don't care if you're the last woman breathing on earth. This whole ship is going to sink. This whole damn world is going extinct. Yeah. Because inside of me, I refuse to reward bad apples. I refuse to bite a bad apple. I bit one before. Awful. It's god awful. And I'll live the rest of my life never biting a bad apple ever again. Every apple I bite from here on it will be a good apple. Big old green Granny Smith apple. Boom. Nice, ripe, juicy. And you know what? Some people look at me as a bad person for this. Oh. You should da 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 da. You should do this. You should do that. Nah, 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 nah. You should shut up. Because you did what you wanted to do. Now I'm going to do what I want to do. You didn't want to comply. You wanted to mess around. So hey. That was your choice. You made a choice. Now I'm going to make my choice. But hey, I'm, I'm bad now, right? Now that the tables turn. Now people try to demonize you. And it's not going to be your male friends. It's not going to be your male colleagues. It's going to be women that shame you, bruh. Oh, give her another chance. Oh, do this all. Oh, take her back. Da, 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 da. You got to be out of your damn mind. <laughs> you got to be out of your damn mind, boy. Is that what you think? You think that's going to benefit me? You think that's going to be a positive force in my life? It's going to make her life great again. Not mine. And as a man, once you get disrespected, bro, that's it. That's it. Most of these chicks are arrogant, bro, and they're not going to admit it. But they're going to hurt deep inside for a long, long time. A long time. They thought they could get away with their arrogance. They thought they could get away 
with doing what they want. I'm a free spirit. Look at me. Times change. Look at you then, yeah. Look at you now. Look at you now. Oh, oh. Not so hot now, are you? In a little bit of desperation mode, I see. Yeah. So guys, this is an eye-opening video for every man and woman. Ladies, be smart. And also guys, be smart. Don't listen to society. Listen to God. Do what's right. If people want to come to your life, whether it's a friend, some chick, or if you're a chick, some guy, do not reward bad behavior. Ever. Let it go. Because there's people that will come into your life that would never dare. There's people that will come into your life... And they would never do a damn thing to ever even threaten the, f the reality of you guys breaking apart. Their actions are the complete opposite of doing anything even remotely close to that. Because that's how much they're down for you. People who do fuck shit, bro. They weren't that confident that it was going to be you. So they didn't overly care if they screwed you over or what. And some people make terrible mistakes in this light, bro. A lot of people do. And sometimes, if you make those bad mistakes because you can't see clearly at the time, it can come back to bite you real hard. And that's something you're going to have to deal with. That's something you're going to have to fight through. That is called a you problem. I'm not going to fix your shit. No one else is going to fix your shit. You have to now. Learn from your mistakes. Even if someone's watching this video that's made a mistake. And deep down to your core you know you did. You look back at, at your life. And you know one time something happened. And you made the mistake. That is something you have to learn from. Going forward. Because life's still going to go on. Life is still going to go on. So the best thing you can do as a man or woman is strike while the iron is hot. Understand while the iron is going to be hot. When it is hot, don't think you're so hot and untouchable because guess what? The iron is not always hot. It's not always hot. You're going to have very hot moments in life. You're going to have times where you're on top of the world. Nothing lasts forever. So you better make the most out of your situations. Make the most out of your circumstances. Be smart. Because if not, <clears throat> you will pay a heavy ass price for not being that smart. And these truths is what a lot of people on earth don't want to accept. And guess what? The ones that are willing to accept all these truths are the ones that typically do better. Instead of crying and complaining over what happened and this and that and that and this, just get better. There's no point of anything else. There's someone in this watching this video right now that messed up bad. And they're probably the ones not taking enough accountability, even in this video. Deep down, they know they have to. Deep down, they know they should. But they don't want to. And that's your problem. That's your problem. Not being real enough with yourself. Fantasizing. La la land. Thinking this is going to happen. Thinking that. Fantasizing. Fantasizing is not going to do anything. You changing your own reality in real life is the only damn thing that's ever, ever going to do anything. You having thoughts of being with some person without being with some person it is a fantasy. It's not going to come to pass. <laughs> Especially if your value is not high. And only you know if your value is high. I'm not here calling you valueless. 
I don't know who you are. I don't even know who I'm speaking to. But you know where you stand. And the best thing you can do with yourself is be real with yourself. As I am. You have to. I have to. We all have to. I have friends, bro, that I hold accountable. And some things I tell them is very uncomfortable. Some things I tell them, bro, they don't even respond to. It's like they see it. And they do not have a response back. They know it's true. It's, it's really a weakness in the mind. It is a weakness in the mind when people do certain things and they know it's wrong, but they're doing it anyways. It is a weakness in the mind. You simply can't fathom what you really have to do and you're not willing to do it. The worst thing you can do is tell lies to yourself. The worst thing you can do is lie to other people. The worst thing you can do is not be 100% honest with yourself. The longer you do this, the less likely it is you're going to strike on anything that's going to be worthy of being in your life. The best thing you can do is be real with yourself. Be strictly in reality. Understand yourself. Understand your real worth. Don't be like these chicks on these podcasts calling themselves tens when they're not even close. They're about four, fives, and sixes. Maybe sometimes there's the odd eight. But the thing is, they all call themselves tens. And this might sound superficial coming from a look standpoint, but it's just an example. It's not about what I just said, it's, it's an example of not being real with yourself. There's consequences to that. So being really, really real with yourself will do you wonders in life. If not, you're going to see that it was not the answer. But you convinced yourself otherwise. Too many people in this world, bro, overvaluing themselves and undervaluing others. There's some people, bro, I'm telling you right now, there's some people that see things certain ways and I see things certain ways and all this and all this bullshit, right? Bro, your value is literally a million times over theirs and they want to treat you and talk to you and all this stuff as if their value is higher than yours. And these are the same people, bro. That are doomed. Big time doomed. They just can't accept reality. Overvaluing themselves and undervaluing you. We can do really nothing else but laugh at these people. And watch God. Not bless them, and bless you. That's what happens. And honestly, I would argue women... Women live in a fantasy world far more than guys do. Most guys accept where they're at, what's going on, who they are, where they stand, and all this kind of stuff. It's mostly women that lie to themselves all the time. <laughs> and I'm not trying to pick on women. I'm genuinely trying to help everybody in this video. But I'm just, I'm trying to open your guys' eyes. To really make you realize what must be done. At the end of the day, we want everybody winning. And that is the whole point of this video. Not lying to yourself, not lying to others. Being 100% real with yourself because it is going to get you far more W's than being delusional ever will. There's some girls, bro, I'm telling you, man. They're looking real rough. <laughs> and the way they talk to some people and some guys and stuff, it's like, what is happening, bro? Like, what? Do you have any, like, do you have any idea what you're even it's beyond me bro some of the things you see 
they've been lied to far too much. I would even argue, like, you know, if you're genuinely lied to in your life that much, and women tend to lie to each other because they like to live in these uncomfortable, or they, they, they would rather comforting truths over the truth. They would rather comforting lies over the truth, is what I meant to say. And it's 100% facts. Women call each other tens all the time, and oh, you're you're bad, you're big. You're a big girl, but you're bad. They don't even call themselves big, but they're big. Ferocious beasts. <laughs> and uh, they're telling each other they're baddies. That's all they hear. No guy's gonna come out and call a woman as she really is. I don't even do that shit. I'm harder on anyone, bro, in these videos than anywhere else. I could go a lot harder if I want to. <laughs> Trust and believe that. <laughs> I could go a lot harder in these videos. A lot. And, um... If all you ever hear is these comforting lies, you'll believe it. And it's very bad for women. Like, very bad. Us guys, bro, we tell each other the truth. Any guys I talk to, bro, I'm telling them the dead-ass truth. I had a guy message me yesterday, bro, and he thanked me. He thanked me for being a real friend to him because even his... Bro, there's some weak-ass pussy guys out there that lie to each other, too. But guess what? I had a guy yesterday thank me for being a real friend and telling him how it is no matter what. Exact words. Of course. That's who I am. That's who I am. And there's a lot of pussies out there today that uh, they don't just tell each other whatever. When a guy like me comes around and talks to them straight... They can't handle the hear. They get all offended and angry and all this stuff. Similar to women. But I keep it very real, bro. This is how you win. A lot of a lot of people don't understand that this is how you win. Is by being real. <laughs> Could you imagine? being the worst basketball player ever. But you play a bit of basketball at home and your parents are hyping you up and the people in your family's hyping you up. Oh, you're so good. You're missing every shot. You suck completely. But then you go to school and you try out for the team and you don't make it. And the reality just comes crashing down on you. You can't handle what happened. Oh my God, I thought I was so good, at, but you suck. It's very similar. That's what happens when you don't tell people the truth. When you tell people the truth, they improve. If you were obese, overweight, and I tell you this, it might sink in a little bit, but if you have your girlfriends talking to you, oh, you're so beautiful. You're beautiful as you are, girl. Love your curves. You'll probably never make the change. And uh, you will remain very unappealing to most men. And this is the cold hard facts. I'm not here to pick on you. I'm just here to tell you the truth. When did the truth become picking on somebody? Can somebody answer that? Right. No answers. So, being told the truth is what everybody needs to hear. Not everybody wants to hear it, but on this channel, that is what we do. I've had people unfollow because I told them the truth and they could not handle it. I've went back and forth with people on my live videos on YouTube sometimes, and they literally, oh my God, I followed you for so long, and I supported you, bro. I'm unsubscribing now, da da da, because I told this guy the truth one time. Like I said, guys, I'm not here to, oh, pet your head and tell you, whisper you sweet nothings, it's going to be okay, da da da. Get out of here with that, man. Can we do that? We could do that, but we don't do that here. It's just not beneficial. It's not gonna make your life better. It's gonna make your life worse. 
So why not get hit with the truth? Because that is the only damn way you're ever going to make a change. That's the only damn way you're ever going to level up. The only way. Both men and women have to do better. You have to do better. Leave no stones unturned. I know some ladies out there, bro, they're competing hard right now for, for the guys they want. Oh, trust me. I know. They are. And then there's some ladies sitting back, eating cheeseburgers, thinking, fantasizing about certain guys they want. And, oh, I want him. I'm going to keep trying for him. I want him. No, no, no. You're never going to get him. You're never going to get him. But if you leave no stones unturned, you prove yourself to be worthy. You stand out from, from, from the other women that don't want to put in the effort because they think they're special. You're no more special than any other guy. We're all human beings. But you can sure stand out and make yourself special amongst the rest. But you're not born special. Everyone's special then if everyone's born special. So that technically makes you not special. It's honestly, guys, our actions that make us more special. Because anybody can exist. But if you become top to your male, top to your female, you become quite special. You become valued. You're like gold. You're not everywhere. There's very little of you, so you become special. That's how it goes. That's the world, so... If you want to win, you already know what you got to do. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some effort. It's going to take some time. Why not? A little effort's not going to hurt you. Stand out amongst the rest. Win. Instead of being that, that girl that thought she was so good and so hot and all this other shit. All to mess around in her youth. And then to shed tears later on because she messed up royally. And then that guy around your age that you want, don't want you. And he wants someone younger, more attractive, more hot, more feminine, more fertile. <clears throat> Everything more than you. Because when your value is real high, you ruined it. And you know what the sad part is? Some women go through life not even being told any of this stuff. But if she was told this stuff at a young age, she might have thought twice. And then there's some people that are so dumb that they could be told that a million times over and they still wouldn't listen. And then they have to deal with the consequences. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, this is going to be helpful for everybody. And I hope this can make someone do that much better. This is the world we're in. And it, uh, to be honest, it's always been this way. It's always been this way. So... Do the best you can do, even if you made mistakes, even if you're past your time, past your prime. Just do the best you can. You can still land on something pretty good for yourself, but it's not going to help you none. Living in a delusional world. That's what's killing you. So get to work.